Interior Electronics Repair Store, Morning. Billy wears his headphones as he enters a worn-down electronics repair store through the back door. He makes his way up to Mr. Higgins, who's behind the counter at the cash register. He winks. Hi. I'm here to pick up the special order for Mr. Rossi. He winks again. Higgins frowns and nods once. Follow me. Billy follows him to a back room hidden behind a curtain. Interior back room morning. On a table are a half a dozen stuffed duffel bags with sticky notes attached. Here you go. The bags are numbered. Higgins points from the bags to Billy. You should have a list with addresses for each number. He notices Billy isn't paying attention. Are you even listening to me? Billy removes the headphones. Yeah, I hear you. You mean you don't know where all this stuff is going? Whatever it is? Higgins stares at Billy with a bit of contempt. I don't want to know who Mr. Rossi's customers are anymore. It's better that way. Trust me, I've had enough trouble with the law lately. Got it. Let me check the monitors before you go. I've got cameras set up all over the place. The cops won't leave me alone. Higgins makes his way to a bank of monitors and checks the view out. Billy struggles to pick up the two largest bags and sets them back down. Whoa, what's in these? Bricks? Easy with those two. One of them has an extra special delivery. It took a long time to make and cost a fortune. Keep a real close eye on them. Why am I making these deliveries anyway? Because the cops will never suspect you, that's why. Your father-in-law said you seem too stupid to know what you're doing. Sad to say, I'm beginning to see what he means. Oh, I almost forgot. Do me a favor, will you? I got something to deliver that's not on your list. No need to tell your boss about it. You know that old church on the far south side? The one with the convent next door? Yeah, not a great neighborhood. No kidding. Here. Higgins hands Billy a small, unnumbered sack. Take that sack to the convent and give it to whoever answers the door. Don't ask any questions. They'll know what it is. To the convent? Sure. Easy enough. Okay. No cops in the alley. Get a move on. They might show up any moment. I'm under intense scrutiny here. Billy carries two of the bags out the back door. Higgins watches Billy on the monitor as he stacks the bags in the trunk of the car. Billy stumbles and juggles the last bag and then puts it in his trunk. Higgins sadly shakes his head. Exterior street morning. Billy weaves his vehicle through traffic. He has his headphones on and nods his head to music. Cars around him get out of his way. Interior, Billy's vehicle morning. Billy's eyes are half closed as he sings. Suddenly, he slams on the brakes to avoid hitting the car in front of him and stops within inches. The bags in the back tumble around. Whoa, that was close. The driver of the car he almost hit gives him the finger. Billy shrugs and half waves with a sheepish smile. He makes a right turn and pulls into a housing development. Series of shots. Billy's at his first delivery stop. He opens the hatch and sees the duffel bags in a jumble. He shrugs, looks at his list, and finds the bag with the matching number. He pulls it out of the trunk. We see that the sticky notes with identical numbers on the two heaviest bags have fallen off, one of them now stuck to the smaller sack. He makes one delivery after another. Billy eats fast food and gets more and more involved with his music, drumming on the steering wheel, singing wildly out of tune. He pulls up to the convent, totally engrossed in what he's listening to. End of series of shots.